All right then, gang, so we're reaching the end of the series, hurrah, but there is one more thing I wanted to show you, and that is how to extend the default Chakra UI theme. So at the very start of this series, if you remember, I mentioned that one of the drawbacks of using a component library like Chakra UI is that your websites start to feel very, very samey and generic because they all use the same pre-styled components. And all those components use what's known as a default theme inside Chakra. And that default theme, dictates the color palette available to us, the font sizes, the font faces, the breakpoints, spacing, border radius, etc. Now you can check out all the default theme values on the Chakra documentation by going to style props first, and then scrolling down here to theming and choose default theme. And on this page is a huge list of the default theme values, which Chakra uses then to style the different components. Now the good news is, is that we can easily extend or change this default theme. And I'm gonna quickly show you how to get started doing that in this lesson. So we're not gonna change everything, but we will add some theme colors and we'll also change the default font families. So if you scroll to the typography section, you're gonna see how Chakra structures the font property. So we can just use this structure to update the body and the heading fonts in our website, for example. And then if you also scroll up to all the color section, past all the colors, you can see that we can also use the colors property name to either change the values of the colors or add our own. And we can also add some different strengths to each color as well. So let's give this a whirl. So the way we do this then is by first of all, coming to the main.jsx file, and then up here from Chakra UI, import a function called extend theme and this function allows us to extend different properties inside that theme. So what I'm going to do is down here create a constant called theme and set it equal to that function extend theme and invoke it like so. And all we do is pass through the different properties in here that we want to extend. So that could be the colors, it could be the fonts or whatever. So once we have that then we would pass that theme into the chakra provider. So I could come up here and say the theme is equal to then theme like so this thing okay so let's structure the things that we want to extend so let me do a comment to say extend the theme first of all and then i want to extend the colors so i'll say const colors is equal to an object remember that's what the colors property was if we go back over here we can see colors and it's an object right so we can either change the values that already exist or we can make our own I want to make our own. So I could say, well, I want a brand color. So then we would set the background color to be brand, not blue or anything like that. And also we could have different strengths. So that could be a colon and then that's an object and we could specify different strengths in here. Now what I'm going to do is just paste these in because they're just a bunch of numbers and different hex codes. I've not gone all the way down to 100. I've just done the upper half. So we have 900 to 500. And they're just different shades of blue that could be our brand color. And we could use that now in our theme. So I could then just pass in here an object and pass through the colors property. And that would update the color palette to include this new set of brand colors. And now if I go back to the sidebar, for example, in fact, it's not the sidebar, it's the root layout. For the sidebar, we have this background right here. I could change that now to brand dot. 400 for example and that would grab me not 400 it needs to be something higher than 500 or 500 i'll do 600 that would grab me this color right here a bluish color so let's save that and preview let's go over here and now we can see it's this blue color so that's pretty cool right we can add our own brand colors now i also want to maybe change the fonts so let's say const fonts is equal to an object let's go back to the docs and let's see how they structured the fonts. If we scroll down here, we can see we have the fonts property, which is what we want to update. And we have a body font and a heading font. So let's update both of those. So inside fonts, let's say the body is Tahoma. And let's say for the heading, let's change it pretty drastically. So heading is going to be Courier New, like so. Now we also have to pass in the fonts property. So let's do that fonts and save it. And now if we take a look at this, 
we can see we get the Curry New font up here, and this now is all to Homer. Doesn't look great. I just wanted to show you how we can either add new values to the theme and also change the current values. Now, like I said, I'm not going to do it with many of them. I just wanted to show you how we can use this function extend theme to either extend or update the default theme. And that makes it a lot more personal, your website, then you can customize it to your heart's content. And when it comes to extending the theme, it's definitely worth checking out the docs because it shows you everything that you can update, like font sizes, font weights, line heights, breakpoints, spacing, loads and loads of stuff that you can update. So then my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well. You can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code right here and for that like i said you get access to every course without adverts without youtube adverts you also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else you get access to my premium courses on udemy and also early access to all of my youtube courses as well so the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below again i really hope you enjoyed this series and i'm going to see you in the very next one